Hey everyone, it's Jazz and welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over my cash stuffing for the new month of July. So let's get right into it. So for those of you who are new, my name is Jasmine, aka Jazz. And on this channel, you will see cash envelope stuffings, um, budget breakdowns, challenges, and all that stuff related to that, right? So thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you guys enjoy the video. A few announcements, updates before I get into the actual stuff and everything. Um, first, um, I really want to talk about my next goal, like like in the grand scheme of thing, like my goal after I paid off my car. If you're new, I paid off my car back in April, so go check that video out. I'll link it down below and everything. Um, but after I paid off my car, I really wanted to build up my emergency fund of three to six months. So that is what I'm working on right now. And I will create a series on that really, really soon because that is like, that's like my big thing right now as far as like finances goes aside of like, you know, expenses and everything. Um, second, okay, and this is related to this. So last month, um, I spent my money and I only had $5 and some change left over from the month of June. Um, Honestly, I, I'm a little sad, but you know what? It happens. Some months you save money as, or some months you have money left over. Some months you don't. So that $5 that I had from um, from June, I put it in my $5 challenge and everything. And then the change, I put that into my change jar. So that is that. So let's get into the actual video, okay, which you guys are here for. So I have my envelopes right here. I'll put these to the side. And also, I have a little plant situation over here going and just trying it out. Let me know. Let me know if you guys like the plant, okay? Because you really can't see the top of it. Like, this is it right here. But I don't want it to be, like, in the way. So it's just up there for now. So I'm working on some things, guys, okay? But let's count the money, 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 all right? And forewarning, I only <laughs> I only have three denominations of bills. I only have tens, a lot of 20s, and one 100 bills. So forgive me. But let's count it real quick. I have 10... 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70 dollars and tens. And I have a little calculator to count, keep count for me. So 70. Then I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80. 5, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, hmm, and then 20, 40, 60, 80. So I have $1,080 in 20s, and then I have one $100 bill. Yay. So I have a total of twelve fifty that I will be stuffing today. So I will be cash stuffing twelve of uh, twelve one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, and this will go in both my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. So let's get right into it. So that the money is set up here, and I know you guys love this. So I have I brought her back my little notebook or my little notepad, I should say. So I'll have that on deck. Let me just. All right, so I have my pin and let's get going. So groceries will be getting $520 and I actually did up this from $500 and everything. And this is because I am paying for um, for most of the food oil. Yeah, I'm paying for a majority of the food for the house um, for the month and everything. So just helping out my family. So I'm going to do this all in 20s. So I'll just take a little stack. So I have five or five. I have 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. And 20, 40, 60, 80. Five. One, two, three, four, five, and then a twenty. Five twenty. So this will last me for the entire month of 
July, God willing, of course. <laughs> so that is done. Next up is my gas. And I increased my gas as well because, honey, it's gas is gas is mm -mm, gas is playing with this right now, y'all. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. So 100, 20, 40, 60. So yeah, right now my gas tank is just about full, but um, I drive quite a bit and I'm gonna be going back to work for the month of July with my job uh, for summer camps and everything. So I'm gonna have to commute. My commute to work is 45 minutes to and from. So I drive, I think an hour and 30 minutes every day from work to home and it sucks okay it sucks it sucks it sucks so next up is baby things or baby things and that will be getting a hundred dollars and this is for my daughter she is one one two three four five this is for like diapers wipes i get her an outfit every now and then um just whatever she may need you know babies so they always need something next up is beauty and household and, and that will be getting 50 for the month so that's 120 40 and 50 so that's good next up is b days and holidays and that will be getting a hundred dollars and that's because it's my brother's birthday in July as well as one of my best friends and one two three four five and I really want to get my brother um, a gift card to get some outfits so I know he said he wants some some more clothes for the summer and then of course my um, my best friend from high school I want to get her something nice too as well as we might go to dinner and everything else you know girls and then next up is miscellaneous and I'll be getting fifty dollars so that's twenty 40 and 50 and almost done spending is next and this is for me like this is like my allowance that I give myself for the month and I think I increased it or I kept it the same from last month I can't remember so 20 40 50 dollars and everything and I really want to get a new purse so I think I might get a purse this month. I'm not sure. We'll see. And lastly is fast food. And I'll be getting $30. So that's $120 and $110. And these envelopes are my cash envelopes. And these are basically the envelopes that I use like on a daily basis. So these typically stay with me in my purse whenever I'm out and about. So that is done, which is great. So I'll put these off to the side. And then flipping over my notepad, we're going on to my sinking funds. And I only have a few categories this month, which is awesome. But they're really important. So the first one up is J Save, and that's me. That's my savings. I have a little savings account with my bank. And that one, I'm just... I just have it because, you know, it's just nice to have money just in case you need something, right? That's not my emergency fund. That's just like my own savings account, right? So I do that online, like it says. So that money, I um, do a transfer from my main account into my savings account for that. Then I have a save, which is my daughter. And that's her savings. And then I have Christmas and I have my car maintenance. So first things first is uh, a save, which is my daughter, Alicia. So... She has this lovely piggy bank. And I basically just do that. Just $10 every month into her piggy bank. Next up is Christmas, and I'll be getting $30. So I'll go into my little binder over here. And I currently have $152. And again, I'll write um, the new amount after the video. That way you don't have to see me do all that. Which I'm really excited for Christmas. Um, I keep telling myself, 
the past couple years with Christmas, I've been telling myself, you know what, we're just going to do gift cards. So this year, I'm going to be very adamant and only do gift cards to my family. Let's see if that works. <laughs> and lastly, for my sinking funds is my, oops is my car maintenance and that's gonna get 50. So that's 20, 40, and my last 10. And this one is really important because I've had to go into my car maintenance fund quite a bit um, this past month. Um, I paid off my car in April, like I said earlier, which is great. But then I think a few weeks ago, or no, or like a month ago, I, um, a month ago, oops, sorry, a month ago, I got a crack at my windshield and I had to basically replace my whole windshield. So I just did that and that cost $225. Thankfully, I found um, someone online to come out and do it and it's awesome. I'm so happy. Then I had to get my car inspected. I had to get my car uh, registered. I had to get an oil change and then I had to get my windshield fixed and then my little like license plate in the front was like hanging down so I had to get a little a bolt to refix that and so I've just been having a few car troubles recently and I'm just I'm over it so I am going to start replenishing my car uh, my car maintenance fund again because it was up to $400 and now it's currently at $229 before I add the $50 so but it's okay that's why I have this fund y'all for moments like that so it's all good it is all good in the neighborhood i hope you guys are having a great day i am i'm so thankful that i got paid recently I'm so grateful to have the money in my account and everything and just be able to fund all my all my envelopes and everything and that is just about that wait before I finish, I almost forgot to talk about something that is really, um, really important to me. Okay, so as you see in my, um, in my sinking funds binder, I went blank again. I have the little trackers, you know, that help me see how what I have and what I spent. Right. Well, if you notice in my cash envelopes I don't have that I just have the money in there right all you see is the money okay so I um the last few months I've been or one of my goals for the year was to track my expenses right so what I was doing at first was I was you know whenever I would buy something I would put it in my notes to my phone that's cool until midway through the month I forget to do that right so then I was like you know what I write it down in my um budget notebook all right, I'll write it down, I'll write it down. That's cool until again, midway through the month, I forget to write it down. And so like, for example, let me grab my, my notebook and everything. So like, this is May's expenses, right? Like you see, I was, you know, being really diligent with it, right? Well, let me show you June's expenses. I was doing so good until oh June 1 right so I I really want to be more disciplined and more adamant about writing down what what and where my money goes um, I guess what I spent it on but where it goes and everything right so I was like let me just put an actual card in every cash envelope so that way I'm able to write it down whenever I spend it so maybe not like right then and there when I buy it but when I go to sit down or I go back in my car or I go back home or whatever the case may be, I'm trying to make it so that way I am legit tracking all of my expenses for the whole entire month and everything. So that's why I went old school and I found these um, blank little index cards. So I wrote on all of them, expense, expense tracker on all of them. They will all go in every one of my cash envelopes that way whenever I do spend the money I'm able to write it down right then and there now I do have fetch and if you don't have fetch honey you need to get fetch okay fetch rewards is basically like a points uh, system whenever you get a receipt from anything whether um, in person or online you can scan it and you'll get points for it and you can redeem it from gift cards I will leave my fetch rewards um, code in my 
I will leave my Fetch Rewards code in my description box if you are interested in it and everything. If you sign up with my code, you get points and I get points. So we both get points. Yay. But yes, so I do scan my receipts and everything. And so whenever I would like try and write down what I spent in the past, I would just go to my Fetch Rewards and I would I would be able to write down, you know, what I got from wearing everything. But you know, I don't always scan my receipts. I forget sometimes I'm only human. So this way I am trying to be very, 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 very diligent, disciplined, and just organized as far as where my money goes. Um, and you guys know this too, just so I can be held accountable. Okay. And we'll see how this new month of July goes as far as my expense tracking goes. I'm really excited to do this and I'm a little nervous. But I'm going to do it for the entire month of July. You have my word, okay? Um, so that's what I wanted to go over with you guys before I ended the video because this is something that, you know, even me as someone who, you know, has their money together, has their life together, right? Um, I'm not perfect. So I will be adding these in my envelopes after the video, but I am... I'm really serious about doing this because I know I can save money and really use my money wisely. I know I can. And this is going to help me do that, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys, um, you know, we're just rocking with me. So thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for everything. Um, if you don't know, I do have an Instagram and it's Jazz C Budgets. I'll link that in the, in the description box as well. Follow me on there. Um, I'm posting just about daily. So yeah, so follow me there. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.